health and wellness check-in for this past week running Monday 18 to Sunday 24, September 2023. This is a summary of my health and wellness, social, mental, and physical for this past week. Today is Sunday 24, September 2023. As of filming this, City of Shoreline, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth Original. It was a more social week that was fun and creative mentally and I made the majority of my workouts. I worked on maintenance and weight regulation in relation to both one filming and publishing at least one sweet and or savory eats video each day and two my running. So balancing that in addition to like my normal diet or with substitutions kind of thing. So that's the introduction week summary. Up first is social. I fed the critters all of their meals this week with some adjustments in time to it come for my adventuring. And then I interactions while walking and running. So that's interactions while I'm out walking and running. And then I live with my parents and stuff and they're retired. So those interactions. Other interactions with social interactions included. PCC community markets. Grocery, it was just a grocery and community market store on Monday, 18 September. Sunset School Park, a public park on Monday, 18 September. 76 gas station on Tuesday, 17, not today, sorry. Tuesday, 19 September. <laughs> uh, I went the wrong direction there. Okay, PCC Community Markets, a grocery and community market store on Tuesday, 19 September. Uh, Bothell Feed Center, a feed and pet supply store on Tuesday, 19 September. Fred Meyer, a grocery and department store on Tuesday, 19 September. Smoky Point Rest Area, a public rest area on Wednesday, 20 September. Bow Hill Rest Area, a public rest area on Wednesday, 20 September. A Raven Bakery, a bakery on Wednesday, 20 September. Cornwall Park, a public park on Wednesday, 20 September. Horseshoe Cafe, a cafe restaurant on Wednesday, 20 September. Bow Hill Rest Area, <laughs> going southbound, the other one was northbound. Uh, public Rest Area on Wednesday, 20 September. Peroshki and Crepes, European Bakery Cafe, or Bakery and Cafe. R Russian and French Food and Drink Shop, Wednesday, 20 September. Sunset School Park, public park on Thursday, 21 September. Richmond Beach Saltwater Park, a public park on Thursday, 21 September. McDonald's Burger Restaurant on Friday, 22 September. McDonald's a burger restaurant on Saturday, 23 September. Fred Meyer, a grocery slash department store on Saturday, 23 September. And then McDonald's a burger restaurant today, Sunday, 24 September. So there was a lot. And it was creative. The Why I was going to the place was, it felt creative. So that, that was kind of cool. It was a lot, but it, it worked in part because it wasn't, like, it, it was creative, so it was kind of like, how do I do this? Um, it felt fun, but it also felt like work. It felt like fun work. Okay. Up next, mental. So it was a fun, so two, uh, mental, fun, and creative week. So up first is writing and photography on Yelp. As of filming this, I have reached 25 written and published reviews for September 2023 and reached 322 written and published reviews for the 2023 year thus far, increasing my all-time best for number of reviews in any one calendar year. All right, up next, writing for L Lucky Wallaby Courier, LWC, so those eating slash food, including restaurants, awards and honors selection and co contextualization, so working on what do I include as an award or honor and still contextualizing those in my life and especially thinking of now if it rhymes with anything going on now uh wildlife slash animals so i was like the black squirrels in bellingham uh dedication slash purpose of public space spaces so that was sunset school park like Okay, I can go and walk and talk at a place, but do I know the history of the place there right? and why it's there? Why is that space there, that public space? Uh, experiential miscellaneous, so that's such as deleted social media accounts, experience in a high school sport, etc. So it's a little bit just kind of like, here's some experience that might be uh, relevant for some people or just something food for thought. Uh, thinking through athletic performance contextualizations videos and I'll link the playlist below. So that's a joined YouTube and Lucky Wallaby Courier thing. But thinking about reporting, I've written and published about a bunch of stuff in in especially aquatic sports. But I did a video on Jacob Ingebrigtsen and on 7 August 2021, one of his performances in his career. Um, but thinking, moving forward, can I do that for some of the stuff that I've written and published about already? How about stuff 
I've seen that maybe I didn't write and publish about? Or how about stuff where I have a picture from the race that I've published online? Um, so I have one slated for this month covering a Kyle Chalmers race um, that I've already mentioned on this channel. It was kind of a highlight for my entire year of 2021 in writing. The highlight was him setting a world record in an individual event in the 100 meters freestyle. So I was like, well, that'd be a really great one because I've written and published about it and even brought it up on this channel as a highlight before. Um, so maybe going back and doing a video on that, but then also thinking past that, can, are there other ones that I could do? So um, that one's meant for me to get kind of like reflecting on what I've already done and what are, is still publicly out there for the world to see um, kind of thing. So it's I'm, I'm thinking through it and I've made a pop, uh, I have work product. <laughs> I have a playlist and it's linked in the video description down below. Okay, up next, YouTube. Themed videos continued. Uh, worked on videos filling in background about some of my awards and honors. Uh, at least one sweet and or savory eats video each day, filmed and published the same day. So I'm on day nine consecutive. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I don't have an end date in mind, but it's a, it's a YouTube specific for me. And today I also was my first the McDonald's I've been going to on Edmonds Way in Edmonds is my first restaurant where I've done at least one sweet and or savory eats at three or more, so three consecutive days um, where I film it like one day and publish it the same day, same time zone, same kind of stuff. Um, I've done three consecutive days. It's not on my schedule for tomorrow, but it was a, that was a first for me. Okay, uh, to date, I have not reached 1,000 subscribers on any platform. So that's a YouTube thing, but it's also on other ones. I got pretty close for friends on Facebook, but I did I do go through. And if I'm not in contact with people or we've gone very different ways, I, I deleted like 300 and some people in uh, over the course of a year one time. All right, so I right, tried to keep that. I tried to keep, if I went over 800, I would start cutting it down. Um, Sam, I've been known to on like Instagram and Twitter, if I didn't want somebody following me, I would block them and then unblock them and it would drop them as a follower. So I am known to be picky with who um, views my stuff. So if people are like, why aren't you growing your subscribers? I'm like, I'm picky. Okay, <laughs> there's an, it's, it's a deliberate slow growth thing, at least at this point in time. Um, and for the foreseeable future. Now bring Nicolo in, and oh, we might be a different story. Okay, okay. Removed automatic concepts on remaining over seven hundred videos. So I had there was automatic concepts on over on for over seven hundred of my videos, and I turned those off. That was a YouTube introduced a pre preset of automatic concepts turned on. It was it, it was la la it was is labeled currently as an experiment. So I just unclicked that for because I I didn't opt in right, that they do that they'll introduce like defaults or something or change the default or introduce a default that's different than what it was like if something wasn't there they'll introduce something and turn it on on all the videos so then i have to go back through all my videos and turn it off to get it back to what it was <laughs> um before this thing was introduced. so that it was it's that and then i age restricted three of my videos from this weekend before yeah oh and the rationale for the ones i restricted was actually um not that like I might have been underage when I experienced something or it might be relevant for certain kids or something. But I was thinking through when I was a kid and I bought or I got music that was age restricted, I could not buy it. So I would I had to ask one of my parents to buy it for me. So the purpose with this is to if a kid gets it or somebody under the age for the age restriction, it's to make sure that there's some sort of guidance there um now uh, it, it's a well-behaved kid right like i was a well-behaved kid for better or for worse um but yeah my sister on the other hand had like a fake id and everything i did not do that okay <laughs> but so there's the bit this is my channel so i gotta say so uh, that's where the m mentality what the methodology my thought process is on that okay up next finances paid off remaining 348.59 of my credit card statement i partially paid off this statement when i paid off my previous statement my statements end on the 15th each month month and i my current balance when i went to pay the last one had some of this credit card statement on it so i paid it off then and then this this one i have paid off so credit card balance zero good like as in i i have my full available 
um, fund for my credit card. So I've been doing cash and debit card. So I, I don't have, yeah. So it's all paid. It's all good. Okay. Current sweet and or savory food, uh, fun eats video, f f eats video fun slash food fund, uh, including gas expenses is at $180 and 31 cents. I spent $96 and 66 cents since the fund was at $275.97 on Sunday, so last Sunday, 17 September 2023. This covered nine videos and 12 items slash products and part of one gas fueling. So 12 items or products, I'm counting the Thai steak salad and sesame capellini as two different products. However, I am counting the three hot cakes, syrup, and butter as one product. Okay. So a little kind of how that works. And then up next, new wildlife sighting. I saw my first ever black squirrels, that's black squirrels. There was actually a fair amount of them on the morning of Wednesday, 20 September in Cornwall Park, Bellingham, Washington State. There's a horizontal format video and a shorts video. I got one of each and published on the same day on this YouTube channel per time zone. So if you want to see them, they're there somewhere. <laughs> and I'll link my Lucky Ball Bee Courier playlist in the video description as well as health and wellness check-ins playlist, savory eats, sweet eats, those are savory eats playlists, sweet eats playlists, and then the athletic performance contextualizations playlist. Up last, third, physical, so that's diet and food and exercise. I started menstruating on time, my normal 31-day cycle. <laughs> I did good on maintenance, food intake, slash weight regulation, even with an increase in eating videos. So good. Running, I made f workouts four out of five days. Rowing made my f workouts five out of six days. Strength training made my workouts five out of six days. Cleaning house slash yard work, I made all my workouts, which was two days. And stationary bicycle, I made my workout one day. So it was a really good week. And I did not, I took one day off when I went up to Bellingham. And I did not let that derail me. I'm back on it and the following day. So that was pretty good. And so in conclusion, it was a good week. Also in conclusion, today is the first full day of autumn in the Northern Hemisphere, spring in the Southern Hemisphere, um, if that's how that works. Uh, but yesterday, 23 September 2023, was technically both the last day of summer and the first day of autumn because it transitions at like 2 or 3 a.m. So if one wants the first full day as in 24 hours and calendar day um of autumn that is technically today sunday 24 september 2023 now the first day for seasons calendrically does vary a little bit yeah but happy health week healthy week or at least attempt a healthy week and happy health to you whenever you are viewing this